Gary Cobb, I'm running for Congress. Some folks out shopping here in Cherry Hill do recognize the sportscaster and former NFL linebacker who helpfully wears his Eagles football jersey while campaigning for Congress. What's up, man? Gary Cobb's the Republican Party candidate, the conservative underdog in a district dominated by Camden, where votes skew heavily Democratic, and in 08, President Obama won with two-thirds of the vote. I'm a Democrat. So you're just going to get in and pull that, that one lever, right, across the board? Yes. Cobb's larger challenge, he's up against a dynasty. Democrat Donald Norcross, the state senator and brother of political power broker George Norcross. Brother Donald's widely regarded as a shoe-in. Do you know who the candidates are? One is Norcross. And the other guy? Republican. Uh, Repu I know he's a Republican, I'm a registered Republican. To get himself noticed, Cobb's taking his campaign straight to Norcross, confronting him at public events. You guys get your hand out of people's pockets, you know? And end the corruption, man. Cobb posts these homegrown campaign ads claiming businesses are leaving Camden because of Norcross. Whether it is corrupt or not, that's irrelevant. People look at our area and they say, we don't want to deal with that because it taints us. How do you deal with that? How do you respond to that? Well, the most important thing is I have been talking to people for the last four out of five years I've been on the ballot. And what people are concerned about is about making sure they have a job. We caught up with Norcross today at a groundbreaking ceremony for a $50 million redevelopment project in Clementon. The charges that's of the corruption is very, I mean, that's very serious. Well, this is silly season. People will say many things. This is part of the dynamic. That's exactly what we don't need in Washington. Donald Norcross went to Trenton and the State Assembly in 2009, the State Senate a year later. The former labor leader's heir apparent to the first CD seat vacated by 12-term Democrat Rob Andrews, who resigned amidst an ethics probe of his campaign finances. National Democratic figures Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi have campaigned for Norcross and his million-dollar war chest by slick advertising. Here's a bright idea. Donald Norcross, a union electrician for 30 years. In the state Senate, he stood up for working families. But Cobb's undaunted, saying the first CD has a lot of independence and the race is closer than experts think. I haven't seen Chris Christie down here campaigning for you. Uh, no, no, he hasn't been. Political analysts say that even though Cobb is on the GOP party line, the former linebacker would have to pull off a stunning upset in order to block the Norcross political machine. In Cherry Hill, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.